Salman. I'm Neza Alawi, founder of Join May Shad, the New York-based company that empowers women on a daily basis. You are watching Be a Leader, our limited series featuring CEOs, trailblazers, and world leaders. Today, our guest is Grant Cardone. Hello, Grant. Well, thank you so much for having me, and I appreciate what you're doing. Grant, you have built a multi-family portfolio asset over over $2 billion. You have been New York Times bestselling author of 11 business books, including the 10X Rule, that led you to produce the largest business conference. You have been voted the top marketing influencers to watch by Forbes. And you use your massive following of over 15 million people to give back via the Grant Cardone Foundation. That says it all about your capacity to do business. I'm about to do something that is like beyond terrifying. It is the, the biggest fear that human beings have, not knowing where you're going to live, how you're going to eat, or how you're going to spend your next day. And that's what I'm about to do. I haven't experienced that in 30 years. My mission right now is to get my kids here, to be with my kids. I cannot, I cannot face the possibility that the next time I see my kids, they're a half inch taller. Today will be when they starting to hit the outsides of the longest period of time I haven't been around my kids. My dad never got to see me grow up. See, this is all the stuff people deal with every day. So let's talk about Undercover Billionaire, your latest show airing on Discovery Channel. You went to a place where you have never been with only $100, no place to leave, no food, can't choose your name, contracts, or social media to help you. What on earth took you to take on this challenge? You know, people ask me if the number one question that we get, whether it's at our conference or working with uh, small, medium, or even large companies, the number one question that I get is, if you lost everything, what would you do? And Discovery Channel gave me an opportunity to show people, not tell people. So I get dropped off, as you suggested, uh, in a city. You know, I, I was raised, for, let me just say to your audience, like I was raised by a single mother okay. and two, old, two sisters that really influenced my life. And my mother was my best friend. And I watched my mom struggle after my dad died and struggled with giving to, you know, I went, I'm a twin. There was five kids. Three of us were wild boys. And my mother, my single mother, my little five foot other Sicilian mother had her hands full and, and her guidance and direction and is really who, who, who made me kind of who I am today. And also watching her struggle with no money. So when, when discovered me and said, hey, if we dropped you off in a city and you couldn't use your name, didn't have any money, couldn't use your contacts, couldn't use your influence, you know, could you turn that into a million dollar business? I'm like, I think so, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, that, that's amazing to hear that you were raised with these women that have been the inspiration uh, for, for everything that you have built um, after. And uh, so you, you kind of put yourself back in that situation and you took on the challenge to build a million dollar in 90 days. Yes. How does that even happen? I want the secret right now. Yeah, so so yeah, that challenge, like I'm gonna get dropped off mm -hmm. and I have a hundred bucks to my name, US dollars, which is worth like $50 today. So, and and I have to build a million dollar business. Well, what, what you haven't told your audience is not only do I need to do all that, in a city I've never been to, I cannot use my following at all. Yeah. I can't use my name. Yeah. Uh, but I have to do it during COVID. 40 million people were let go. Yeah. And it was the biggest economic correction in the history of the United States since the Great Depression. So, you know, when, when, I, when I did this show, like millions, millions, without exaggeration of businesses had, had, had either been shut down or closed. Um, it was a very, 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 I, I don't think much of TV, reality TV, but I can tell you from doing this, this was reality TV. 
And th- th- this is not a Purdue show, meaning it really took me back to, to the way I was raised, uh, where we had nothing. The problem is, and this is a problem for women, by the way, worldwide. Yeah. The, problem, the problem with this is women, my mother knew how to protect us. She did not know how to go out and get she didn't know how to create, and I'm not saying your audience does it, but this is a disadvantage that women do have. Well, it is it is definitely a, a big challenge that we tackle and, and we work with women because we find that they put so many limits um, on, on, the, on themselves. And, and as you said, women are protectors. They're, they, they give back every time they make money. That's why we think that it is the time for women to make money and and making money is not a shame of if if I'm becoming a, a money focused, that means you know like I'm no longer going to be a big a, a good person. As a matter of fact, you're going to be a greater person. You're going to be able to have more means to give back. And so so yes, there are a lot of uh, psychological limits that women put on, on themselves. What do you have to tell them? And and we're all about financial empowerment at Meshad because we think that. In 2021, this is where women have to to get to to empower themselves. Uh, the first thing that I did was I got rid of my hundred dollars. Okay. And 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 the and the crew was like, and crew who I argued constantly about this show while I was there. In addition to the challenge being what it was, I had to also fight with the LA crew because they're like, when are you going to spend your money? I'm like, look, a hundred dollars cannot save my life. OK, like this is what people are doing every day. They're trying to save their money. Women do this, too, by the way. I'm going to save it. I'm going to protect it. I'm going to retire it. I'm going to I'm going to buy it. I'm dead off. That is that is very that is one way to do things, but it will never get you ahead. Okay. And so I didn't worry about the money. OK, I went out and made contact with other people. And th- this is a disadvantage because of the way we're brought up. Women are not taught to pursue. They're taught to wait and let others pursue them. And that's a generalization, but I think I think you know what I mean, right? Like totally. I totally relate to that. Women can't be the women can't be the aggressor. That's the man should do that most of the time. Exactly. I, and, I agree. And I didn't have that, right? My, my, what I did was to put myself and I would tell women to do this. This concept for me is I go to zero. Financially, I go to zero. And what that does for me is when I go to zero, when I take $100, $1,000 or a million dollars, and I'm going to act like I no longer have that, then I no longer spend time at the Chanel website. I don't spend time looking for a better deal. I don't look to, uh, spend time trying to buy a car or a house because I'm at zero. And when you're at zero, what you do is you go into pursuit mode. Yeah. You, you become aggressive. Yeah, and it puts you in a mode of survival. Yes, so yes. Even like as small as a hundred dollar is, well, when you have it, you're not completely in that survival mode, and and so you took it up, and then from there you started building. So so this happened during COVID. So our audience is totally going to relate to it because it is a time of uncertainty for everyone, and by watching you, they're going to watch actually how you have made a million dollar during COVID out of nothing in 90 days. Um, how difficult was it for you? This was the hardest challenge I've ever done in my entire life. Like I, I've been, I grew up like this. I grew up without anything, but it's been 30 years since I didn't have anything. So I didn't have my family. I thought I was going to have my family out in five days. I was so naive. I was so disconnected because of the lifestyle that I've created for myself. Uh, and I'm not saying that to brag, but I, I've created an unbelievable lifestyle for myself. We have seven, seven businesses. They all make money. They're all profitable. I have 150 employees right here in Miami, another 350 around the country. I'm used to being taken care of. Yeah. I have my own, I, I want to go to some place. I have a plane that picks me up and takes me. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have a credit card. I didn't have a telephone. I didn't have a computer. I had no assistance. Uh, I can't even use my name. I can't even use my influence. 
I can't use any past experience I have and tell you if, if I'm trying to start a business with you, I can't influence you by saying, oh, by the way, I'm a pretty successful guy. Yeah. Like, I have to be someone else. So th this was without a doubt the most difficult thing that I've ever done in my life. In addition to being away from my family for the longest time uh, that I've been away from my kids in since they've been born. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It, it's tough. And uh, I'm sure it was also a huge time of introspection. How did it change you? I am so grateful for so many things that I was taking for granted. Mm -hmm. um, everything from my name to my experience to telling the truth. Uh -huh. Everywhere that I went, keep in mind, everywhere I went, I had to be someone else. Mm -hmm. Because the, the deal was I couldn't be me and do this. I had to be no one. I had to be someone that didn't have influence. So, uh, so many things, I'm, I'm, there's so many things I'm grateful for today that, you know, my, like my mom, like my mom, my mom was always the first person I would call when I had success. Even when I got married, yeah. uh, my, my mom was my best friend and she was the first person I called when well, she passed about 10 years ago. So now, now it's all, always been my wife, you know, I'm like, Hey, look, let me tell you what I did. Well, when you're starting from nothing, there's not a lot to to call home about. And it was very, very difficult trying to even create relationships. I was calling my wife every day saying, I don't know if I can do this. Thank God. And she would keep me, she, thank God for women because she's the one that kept me in the deal. I like that. I like that. She, she, you know, you see, she was in a position where she had to empower you every day. And the same way you empowered you before, and uh, now it was, it was your wife. It's really great to hear. So when is the show airing? It's January the 6th uh, on Discovery Channel, which is, you know, worldwide. And we're also going to do a party. Anybody that wants to watch it with us online or during the show, we're going to create a watch party where you can watch the show with us because I haven't seen it either. And uh, on the commercial breaks, I'll come in and answer your questions. People can do that by going to grantcardone.com forward slash undercover. That's, that's amazing. Grant, do you think, do you feel that you have a lot of women following you? And do you feel that you need more of them? Everybody needs women in their lives, okay? Yeah. And, and because women, women have... You know, we, we did a we did an event here in Miami. It was thirty four thousand people here. And and um, Steve Harvey, the comedian, said, hey, what what are you most excited about today about doing this event during Super Bowl weekend with thirty four thousand people? I said, well, Steve, I you here. I'm excited about all the women that are here. And he's like, that's really funny. I said, no, seriously, women. Women are easier to teach than men are. OK. Because men, men have this ego, men have this, I already know everything and women don't have that as much. Mm -hmm. And generalization, I know it could be sexist and people could like, you know, accuse me of being a bad guy, but, but women, women are more open to growth and, okay. and learning new things and new ways to do things. And I think women are more aware that something has to change for them. Uh, because most people are just barely getting by today. They're not doing well, you know, and 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 so yeah, I, I would love to have a much wider, bigger women because women actually use information quicker and faster than men do, in, in my opinion. And and sales is at the core of any entrepreneurial journey. Uh, I am an entrepreneur myself, and and I have trained myself so much in it and, and I'm my, I am in this new phase also of, of developing a strong sales team for our women's membership. So I, I tell it to entrepreneurs all over the world. Um, they do sales is technique and sales is is also like inspiration and this is what you give with your content. And women need to empower themselves financially to be able to get to the level that they want. And uh, they need sales techniques, so they can find it on your website. And uh, also in January, you said that uh, Undercover Billionaire is going to air on Discovery Channel. So I hope everyone can watch it. 
Grant, it was amazing to have you with us. Thank you so much. Such an honor to have you and hear you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Please, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of all of our upcoming content. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Have a great day.